Oh. Every fucking time I do that. Alright, piss and vinegar. Uh, 68. Leg day. Today was a real fuck around. I, uh, well, for one, this is the last set of three sets of deadlifts. Um, but I bought this new mic to do in person videos, live action, whatever the fuck. Uh, you know, talk to you guys whilst working out. But then I went to edit it, and it turns out the mic fucking sucks. The audio gain is just super high and shit quality. Um, so, I'm just going to voice over this way until I buy a better one. But um, that one was 30 bucks, and it was fucking terrible. So, I'm going to have to probably spend like 100 bucks to get a good one. But I don't have 100 bucks to spare right now, so I'm not going to be doing that. So, for now, you will be still listening to me voiceovering instead of live action until I get a better one of those. Um, and then also, yeah, my fucking camera, I cut out and I didn't get the, I didn't get the first two sets of my deadlifts. But today, one of the benefits was when I was deadlifting, I miscalculated my weight because I forgot that the hex bar weighs a hundred. No, sorry. <laughs> the hex bar weighs 30. No, still not right. It weighs 25 kilos, not 20 kilos. So I thought I was doing 150, which was a two and a half kilo increase from last session, but actually I was doing 155. So unbeknownst to me, I was seven kilos stronger. And I think part of that was mental because had you told me at the start of the workout that that was 150 kilos and that I was doing seven kilos more, I don't know if I'd be mentally prepared to be able to do that. I don't even know if I believe I could do that and thus I don't think I could do it. But because I, it, because I was unaware to this uh, weight, I feel like I thought it was just the same. It was just the same old weight, and thus it was going to be appropriate. And then I lifted it relatively comfortable. So that was interesting. I think strength is definitely partially mental, or very much mental. Uh, so I made a seven kilo increase in strength, uh, but. Yeah, I was generally, this workout was just, uh, it was a good workout, but my strength was increased and everything, but between the mic and the fucking phone kept cutting out and shit, I was just pissing me off, man, but, you know, feel my workout. And I had a bunch of insights um, mid-workout, because you're, the way my brain works, it works differently mid-workout, and I have more time to kind of discuss what I'm going through, whereas in the voiceover, it's all much quicker, and thus I have to kind of talk pretty quickly and I can miss out on a few things but yeah I'll get a better mic well hopefully and I'll do a mid-workout voiceover of sorts for a slightly different perspective and things but for now we'll do it this way and I like it this way a lot because it's easier to edit for one and then two I can talk about topics which I guess I could do in the live uh, narration but it'd be a bit more difficult especially when I'm out of breath. And the videos would be a lot longer. Um, so, yeah, this workout was good. Squatting 120, which was good. I honestly was kind of nervous getting into this squat today. I felt like I was going to not be able to do it, but got through it, no problem. So strength is definitely going up in the legs. Uh, slowly but surely getting out of the novice stage that I've eternally been in for a long time, except for maybe at one point of... <laughs> I did Bulgarian for a while there, where and I got my uh, hex bar deadlift up to 240, or was it 240 or 260, I can't remember. But it was much better than it is right now, and that was a heavier state with a better functioning back whilst training, doing the same movement every single day. But other than that, there's been a lot of inconsistency in my leg training, and thus I'm nowhere as advanced in my legs as I am in my upper body. But I'll get there. I think by the end of this shortish bulk that I'm doing, I want to be doing 140 kilo squats for rope reps and 100, uh, uh, no, sorry, 200 kilo deadlifts for reps. And at this point, I'm relatively comfortable I'll get there. And then the next bulk next year, I want to get to 250 deadlifts, 170, 180 kilo squats, and then I'll be kind of happy. Um, but as far as hypertrophy goes, the strength isn't as important, in my opinion, as is going to absolute mechanical failure which is now the next part 
doing my kind of hack bar uh, hack slash uh, belt squats this is more of a belt squat now so i made the um range of motion longer so i I don't sit back as much like I was last session where I was kind of doing what would be a hack squat or a uh, pendulum squat. Now I'm going more knees over toes and getting a deeper range of motion. And it's kind of like that, uh, you know, Tom Platt's range of motion. And this felt really good. These were really difficult, but felt really good. I did two sets of these actually because the first set of them, I getting the fucking camera didn't it cut out. So I ended up doing two for... Uh, the sake of uh, authentic- authenticity, making sure that you can see that I definitely did it, and I did it twice, believe it or not. So, yeah, very brutal doing these to failure twice, but all good. Um, can't no no real harm. And uh, yesterday I was talking about novice programming and how certain people should do. Certain people who are new to training or haven't been training for long or still in the novice stage strength why should just do mostly volume um, to start with before moving on to high intensity. And I was going to talk about what I would do for a novice program personally today, but I thought as uh, sort of a hundred hundred subscriber um, uh, sort of, I don't know, celebration or gift or whatever for my 100th subscriber, which is just around the corner, I will give a free novice program out because there is a lot of problems with a lot of novice programs I've seen. They don't take into account progressing through reps. A lot of the times these novice programs just have you progressing weight every single time, which will make you stall very, very fast. And then the way that you break a plateau for that is you just regress the weight, which is it, which is fine too. But with novice programs, a lot of time it's just straight five by five and that doesn't allow you to progress through reps all that allows you to do is hope you get five sets of five you didn't fuck you better regress now and that only allows you to progressively overload uh at a certain rate whereas i like doing five sets of four to six and that way you have a a wider array of rep range to work with and you won't stall out as fast now and it's easier to program and I won't go into that today fully because I'm going to make a program for it my novice program and I'm also going to make the novice program a bit more wide array so it might be taking into consideration height leverages weight etc it's actually going to be a pretty advanced novice program by all means realistically I should probably sell it for money because most novice programs are just copy and paste of starting strength with slightly different exercise selections um, but I'm going to put it relatively, uh, flushed out because I understand that everyone is a bit different and it's not a one size fits all when it comes to the novice program. Obviously novices are very similar in the sense that they all adapt at relatively the same rate, but there will be some adaptations or changes to the, to the norm. There might even be a bit of a high intensity training there, sort of a weaning pro process where you wean off volume programming parameters to then high intensity um there'll probably be a lot different exercise selections and yeah there's it's just gonna i I genuinely think it's gonna be one of the better novice programs out there i haven't checked the current novice program and it's very funny for me to write a novice program considering i don't even have a bunch of the novice standard strengths uh, a bunch of the novice, uh, novice strength standards. I mean, I don't squat 140 kilos. I don't squat 180. But um, I have in the past, and I know what it, it is required to get into the, out of the novice stage into the intermediate stage. But right now, for a while, I didn't really give a shit about strength. So if you don't care about strength, the novice stage, the novice programming five by five doesn't really matter much at all. Because if you just want to be big, you just do high intensity. But for those of people who are trying to get big uh, and strong, then it's best to start with the novice phase. And uh, I'm only just doing no- the novice phase for my leg days or a hybrid of sorts just now because I was kind of fed up with how weak my fundamental squat and deadlift were. Um, even though I have horrible leg genetics and I have a bunch of dysfunction, that that's no excuse. It was just massive inconsistency. 
Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that if any of you guys watching or listening are currently resonating on the idea of, oh, I'm not quite a intermediate lifter yet, I'm still a novice. Maybe I should do a novice program before I start doing high intensity. But maybe you're doing a novice program and it's not reaping you the benefits you want. Maybe it's confusing and it's not flushed out. Um, a lot of time, I, I remember when I first did novice, my novice first novice program, you know, a, seven or eight years ago when I started lifting again, I was kind of confused by the parameters from the one I was doing. I was doing one from Alex Leonidas, who is smart, and it was a decent novice program, but there were some things that were unclear, and uh, there was a lot of uh, mistakes that I made that didn't have to be m made, essentially. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll make that for my 100th subscriber gift to you guys who have been watching me over the last f few months finishing off the workout um i'm going to start doing back extensions twice a week because when i do these back extensions after a leg day i don't feel it hell of a lot in the spinal erectors i feel it a lot in the glutes and hamstrings because they're pretty exhausted from you know all the movements i've done up to this point so on my, what I call my active recovery, prehab, rehab sort of day on Sunday, where I just do very niche accessory movements to strengthen up weak parts, I'll be doing an extra set of back extensions to failure uh, on that day too. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Piss and vinegar tomorrow. Bye.